Music producer Del B, who has worked with the likes of Shay Shay, Whiskid, and Casey, finally comes out of hiding as he hugs the spotlight at the Miss Media series alongside other celebrities. Let's bring you highlights of that event. Acclaimed beat maker Del B, his colleague Chris Beats, and comedians and media personalities Steve Onu, popularly known as Yo, and Omotunde Adebowale, also known as Lola One, headlined the 11th edition of the Meet Media series in Lagos, southwest Nigeria. Having quietly grown his music brand to the top echelon of Nigerian mainstream music with credits from Casey's Limpopo, Whiskey's On Your Mata, Shay Shay's Shay or Shay, amongst others, Dobby broke away from his studio hideout to mingle in the spotlight. Real name Ayodele Basso, his journey into the world of music began when he interned as a sound engineer at the musical studio in Lagos before eventually joining Paul Play's Record Imprint, where he eventually perfected his music production skills. I was just starting, and at the same time, I was starting big already. Like a lot of things were already happening. You know, I mean, I was already recording for, you know, for play. I was already recording for the band. I was already recording for Wandeko and all these guys. You know, people were coming to the studio as a dog, all about this old artist. You know, I mean, it was just for me. It wasn't even about the money. It wasn't about anything. It was just the fact that I just loved to be in the studio. I didn't care. I just wanted to be there at the studio, just hear music and just make music. I'm going crazy. Oh, let me be your maga. Your maga. I want to be your maga. Your lover. Tell me what you want. Oh, oh, oh. Hey. I just want to know your need. Cause the way you do touch the body, I like the way you do the body, body. Make me want to the gummy body, mm. the gummy body. Ha, ah, okay. Eh? Oh yeah, the popo. Baby, 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 baby. Oh yeah, the popo. Eh? Baby, 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 baby. His break into mainstream was after he produced the 2013 Heady Song of the Year in Popo for former KC Press singer KC. Before then, he had to endure a rough economic period. I'm going crazy. I'm going it was just, for me, it wasn't even about the money, it wasn't about anything, it was just the fact that I just loved to be in the studio, I didn't care about anything, I just wanted to be there at the studio and just hear music and just make music, you know, and um, it went on from there, at the point I was like, okay, I think right now it's time for me to, to move ahead and start my own thing, then I tried, you know, the first time it didn't work, you know, then I had to move to Abuja and work with um, soul music. I don't know how many people soul music. Um, then I to Ali. Um, Worked with them for a while, then came over to Lagos again. Started back again from scratch. Set up my own studio in Ikeja, Jaraka, Ikeja, Awolo. I don't know I can't go. <laughs> you know, so that was where my studio then was my house, was my living room, was my everything. So I mean, that was where, you know, that was the same studio that I made one of the biggest songs ever in my life, the Bobo. And the same studio I made Shake for Flavor also. I mean, that was just like the beginning for all the whole big songs. I mean, so I mean, it was like one of the worst stage of my life because for you to, for you to live in the same studio, that is your, <laughs> that is your studio, and it's your house, and it's your everything, you know, it's your... <laughs> so I mean, with all the whole pressure and everything I was going through then, all I could do was just channel everything to the music. And I just did focus on the music. And as soon as I saw that the music was playing on, I just kept going and going and going. And we're here today, 
The story of the Tano State Bond music enthusiast throws attention to music production in general, with many beatmakers in the industry facing plagiarism allegations. Another fast rising producer, Chris Beats, who already has credit for Techno's Hana, reveals how he deals with pressure from artists requesting him to plagiarize someone else's work. If I want to do, if I want to make a song for you, if, it's, if you want me to give you a particular kind of beat that someone has used before, I'll tell you why not go to this person and get that kind of beat if that's what you want, because I don't want. I don't want someone to say, okay, this person did this type of beat and you're not doing this type of beat. So, as, as a creative person, if you want to do something, you should, you should let your client or anybody who, that you're working for or working with to see the reason why you want he or she to, to do it like this. Just like when God created us, God didn't ask us how we wanted our face to be. So if you are creating something for the people, you should be like the god of your craft. You don't need to ask people if this face is good if that. As long as you know that you are doing it and you are doing it right. The evening wound up with more interactions with comedians Yo and Lolo One.